Romans 16 is the final chapter of Paul's words to the Christians in Rome. Sometimes when we get to final chapters, particularly where he begins to greet others and say hello to others and commend others, we can let our brains float someplace else and not really pay attention to what he's saying. And that can be a dangerous thing. One, because all of God's word is important to read. But another, because we can miss the real importance of the words that Paul is sharing with his readers. Now, what we're going to focus on, particularly this Sunday, is this idea that all of us have something to offer. Last week we talked about the fact that we need to just take a time out and say, how am I doing serving the Lord? Well, maybe some of you during that time realized, I'm not really sure how to serve the Lord. What do I have to offer? Well, I just want to give you a preview a little bit of the 16th chapter of Romans. For instance, he starts off, I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a deacon. Uh, verse 3, greet Priscilla and Aquila, my co-workers in Christ Jesus. Greet Urbanus, our co-worker in Christ and dear friend. Greet Tryphena and Tryphosa, those women who work hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, chosen Lord, and his mother, who has been a mother to me. And he goes on and we see people of Hebrew heritage. We see people of Greek heritage. Uh, Olympus is the name of others. So we see people of different backgrounds. We see people of different races. We see male. We see, see female. We see people who are teachers. We see people who are hospitable. All of them had something to offer. We need to take some moments this coming Sunday to talk about what we have to offer, really for two main reasons. One is to recognize what do we have to offer. But secondly, to be appreciative for those things that other people offer. Because sometimes we can be thankful for the big actions, or the big steps of faith, and neglect the thanksgiving for those who are doing those things behind the scenes. So the things that may even go unnoticed or the things we think maybe are insignificant in comparison to something grander. Paul did not allow this to happen. That's why I believe he spent verse after verse after verse greeting people and saying hello to people over and over again because he didn't want to forget their work. He wanted to let them know that they were significant. So this coming Sunday, we're going to have a great opportunity to see how these men and women of different cultures and backgrounds had something to offer. And we're going to be reminded that each and every one of us has something to offer. So come learn what you have to offer. Mm -hmm.